All right, today I was super inspired to create this story. And that story is the first day when I believed in Jesus Christ. I used to work hard to be against the Christians, even my girlfriends, because I used to think I should work hard against the name of Jesus Nazareth. Also, I had never seen one like the one. Then how am I supposed to believe that Jesus has changed them? Is it Jesus really truly living one? I just didn't even see anything like that either. One day, I had exhausted. I was just done with searching him anymore. I told him, if you are truly God who is alive in heaven, show me. You and I both know this will not happen anymore. At least 30 years, I won't believe you. Then I was invited to a retreat seminar from Catholic Church from my mom's friends. There was a hill the hill that was tall enough to climb. After I saw that, I had to decide to go up there during the seminar. In the second day, everyone was having a confession time, but I wasn't baptized, so I could not attend any session. So with that free time, I remembered this tiny cross that I had seen it as I was coming in. It was hot. It was desert hot. But somehow, as I stepped out, it felt like someone was pulling me. And I kept walking towards the cross. As I was going up, inside of my head, hey, why do you bother to go up there? Just stay inside with the AC. Nah, I'm gonna go up. And kept walking towards the cross. Then I saw a coyote. It was a nature coyote. It could come and snatch me. He and I stared a bit, then we both walked our ways. As I got to the top, I saw a sign, watch out for rattlesnake. Then another voice came to my head and saying, if I get bitten by it, no one can find me. Will you take that risk to keep going? You've done enough. Nah, I'm gonna go up and reach to the cross. It was tall. It was almost like a tree tall. I couldn't imagine the cross where Jesus was crucified. Then I saw a stone and I could feel someone was calling me to sit right next. It was windy. It was super windy. As I was walking towards the stone, wind started to blow even hotter as if it was blocking me sitting on that rock. I sat on the rock and closed my eyes. All right, here I am. What's next? Suddenly, the room was created to protect anything to enter. It was the ultimate zero. There was no sounds and no movement. It was literally nothing. Even if I was in the zone, I could see the wind was still blowing, not just inside where I was praying to it. Then one word came to my heart, unconditional love. From there, all the things that I've experienced up until that moment started to make all sense. Then boom! I saw the fire that covered all of my body as Moses saw the fire on the bush. Oh, the fire doesn't harm the bush. The flame was a clear, clear fire. Unlike any fire that I have ever seen before. Then one word I could understand, go. I opened my eyes and the room disappeared as well as the wind. I don't know how long I had been up there, but looked like all of them 
finished their confession sessions and took the break and ready for the next session. In this last session of the day, they asked me to hold my hands straight up and saying hallelujah. I just didn't feel like anything but did it anyway because they said this way I could start to speak in tongue. I don't even know what does that mean. I did it about 10 minutes and still my tongue was not coming out. Anyway, someone started to cry as if he were going through some pains. While I closed my eyes, I turned my head towards him and could see the black thing that holds in his heart. I reached him out and touched him with my left hand. Then the black thing comes through my left arm, then to my heart. It got cleaned and then clear energy. The clean energy goes through my left arm and went into it. Then I could feel his pain went away and he got calm. He doesn't cry anymore. When that transfer was finished, I opened my eyes, then saw his peaceful face. I don't know him, and I still don't know him. I never talked to this person before. But if you saw him at that moment, you could tell that he had the most peaceful smile that you could ever think of. I was fascinated. And from there, God has done many miracle things. That's my first day with Jesus Christ.